Okay, so welcome to the second rapid fire session. This is session number two. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, then you've probably missed a video or two. So I suggest you go back to watch the first video in this series. Now, again, just like last time, there are two simple rules for this session. You have five seconds to get the answers. And again, try not to use a calculator, just use your head. Okay. And again, just like last time, I will provide you for the first two questions, I will provide you with this handy dandy little scale. But then after that, you guys are on your own. So without much further ado, let's get started. Okay, so in this case here, we are converting from microliters to milliliters. Now milliliters come here, microliters come here, so we're going to be going to the left. And so 600, there's a decimal point at the end, move that over by three spaces, so one, two, three. Here's the new position for the decimal, so we add the zero in front of it, and so we get 0 0.6 milliliters. Next question. Okay, so in this case here, we are looking at converting from micrograms to nanograms. So we are going to be going to the right. So five, and then this decimal, we move that over one, two, three spaces, fill in the zeros, and we get 5,000 nanograms. Next question. Okay, so in this case we are converting from milligrams to grams. You'll remember that gram comes before milligrams on our scale, so we will be uh, moving our decimal point to the left. So 7.5, take the decimal point and move it over by three spaces. One, two, three. Here's the new position for the decimal place, so fill in the missing zeros and you get 0 0.007 five grams. Next question. Okay, so in this case we are converting from nanometers to micrometers. Now as you might recall, micrometers comes before nanometers on our scale. So that means that we will be moving our decimal point to the left. So 160 nanometers, the decimal point at the end, and we will be moving a decimal to the left by three spaces. So that's one, two, three. There's a new position for our decimal point. So add the zero in front of that, and we get 0 0.16 micrometers. Next question. Okay, so we are going towards milligrams from micrograms. So milligrams comes before micrograms on our scale. So we are going to the left once again. And so we are going to start with 950. There's a decimal right there and just move it over one, two, three places. Put a zero in front of that and we'll get 0 0.95 milligrams. Okay, so hopefully that went well. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, if not, if you need more practice, well, you can get some more practice and do this as many times as you like until you feel more confident. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.